I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is number 243. While I was in Nashville, I visited Griffin Technology HQ. Who knew they were Nashville based? They showed me several things, but they had me at wireless speakers. The Evolve wireless speaker system is the second best gadget of the year after the iPhone. We talked about the speakers during CES, but after trying to pair out, the first thing we did was check to see if Griffin is a public company. If you try them out, you're going to want a pair or two. To begin with, they sound great. It's a very crisp, clear sound, and when you add that to the functionality of the system, oh, Man, I just have a lot of belief in what Griffin has produced. The Evolves will be out in a couple of weeks and I'll have more to say then. So, if the Evolves are the bomb diggity, what would be the opposite of that? I'm gonna go with Sony Ericsson's MBS100. It's Bluetooth wireless and weird looking, and since the press release says it looks as good as it sounds, I'm not sure what to think. The idea is great. It's a portable speaker designed to stream music from your phone. Its rechargeable battery gives users five hours of playtime. My hope is that it looks somewhat less freaky in person than it does in the photo. You guys know about crowdsourcing? It's the process of inviting the public at large to participate in the production of a single goal or project. MicroPledge is the new idea that fits into the crowdsourcing space. Here's how it works. You have an idea and you propose it. MicroPledge sets a time to get pledges to fund development. Coders bid for the job even while the fundraising is still in progress. This is my goal. This is what I want to be about, connecting developers with innovators. That ultimately is the hard part in this new tech world. So many people have ideas that rock, but they don't know how to connect with developers that can make the ideas happen. MicroPledge is all about bridging that gap. One of my all-time favorite scenes from a film was when Leopold Alexis Elijah Walker Gareth Thomas Mountbatten, Duke of Albany and inventor of the elevator, was instructed that he should pick up dog poop in the movie Kate and Leopold. Coming from the past to the now, he was appalled at the suggestion he should lay hold of canine excrement, and he refused to do so. The Swoop is a handheld poop picker-upper that lives up to the definition of a gadget as precisely as possible. A special baggie is placed over the working end of the device to keep it clean. You place it over your dog's special production, and claws pick the stuff up. You turn the baggie inside out, and you never have to feel that warm bit of squishiness. That is, after all, the oddest part of modern life. We're tracking digital photo frames to document the largest available to date. If my records are right, the current champion comes to us from a company called PhotoView. It's 22 inches and has a resolution of 1680 by 1050. It also displays RSS feeds and has a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. The price is the only downside I see. It's $1,299. I'm really excited about the DVD release of Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. Matt Hickey from Crunch Gear says it will include an iPod ready version of the film on disc. Someone in the movie business thinking about what we want. I, I hate to be pushy, but I'd like it to be Apple TV ready too. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by Geek Brief TV. After a meetup, I'm convinced that we have the most amazing people on the planet watching the show. I'm honored to have you guys watch the feeds. I also have to thank GoDaddy.com for their continuing support. GB1, GB2, or GB3 will get you a great discount. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Everyone say bye on Ustream TV. <laughs>well, you guys don't have to say bye to me, but you have to say bye to the show. That was confusing. <laughs> Tulsa, you're finally getting a Chipotle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>